Morning guys, it's Oscar. How you doing? Um, this is going to be my first shave back after the event, after the Pasadena meetup, and I got to tell you, I'm really, really excited. Um, I'm seeing everybody else who was there seems to be pretty excited about it too. Seeing a lot of pictures that were posted during and soon thereafter and, and since the event. So um, it was a great time. Um, it wasn't, if you weren't there, it wasn't as big and formal as the Big Shave West back in April, but I'm not sure that it was meant to be um, quite that big. I think it was kind of um, kind of serving the, it served to bridge the time gap between Big Shave Wests because there's going to be another one in April as far as I know. And uh, this one was kind of to kind of bridge that time gap. So, but um, first of all, big props. Thanks to, um, big props, <laughs> big thanks to, uh, to Damon, David and, and, uh, and Douglas for kind of uh, spearheading the whole thing and for putting it on. Um, all right, I'm going to get started because I'm, this may be run a little long. I have a few things I want to say, things I want to address. So, so I'm going to um, go ahead and uh, wet my face real quick. And uh, I'm going to uh, use a bloom water from Douglas, from the soap, from the event. Uh, Douglas, uh, uh, I think he said it was cardamom, coumarin, and cypress um, were what the main ingredients that went into this. So, And, you know, it's a cool label. Um, come to find out, I came to the conclusion, Doug, Douglas, you're the devil. Um, evidently, you're a communist and... You like to offend um, those people that make the jars with the screw top on them. What are they called? The jars with the screw top. I forgot what they're called, but you know what I'm talking about. That sorority. Anyway, um, so I'm using the uh, bloom water from the soap. Right away, I get that. I get that cumin. Or I'm sorry, the coumarin. Cumin. I get that. It's really good. I think it's going to... I mean... Douglas is a uh, Crown King products have really uh, stepped up and they've really uh, they've really shown to be really really cool and that's who uh, that's who the label he's making it um, under is the Crown King so but thanks Douglas again I know you do a lot of work in these things and uh, I'm not sure if you get um, you know all the props that you deserve so thank you um, that was a kind of a highlight of the event for me was afterwards um, being able to sit with Douglas and Busta and a couple of the people and actually talk um, you know we spent a couple hours actually just talking and. And it was cool. I learned a lot, and um, and I just had a blast. It was I had a really good time. So, all right, I'm gonna lather up. I'm using my uh, Salo Row Shave the Man. And uh, but yeah, I actually made a list of people that I wanted to try to make sure I that I mentioned uh, that helped make the make the event a good thing, a good experience for me. Um, obviously, David. Um, you know, David Gonzalez, my boy, Hayden and Rocio, and. Um, I went up, we went up Friday night, we went up Friday night and caught a, caught David's high school football game and, and those guys are dominant, they, it was, I think it was 56 to nothing or something, um, so that was a good time and then we hung out afterwards, David got, got a little sick, so he was a trooper the whole weekend, David, so props to you for sticking it out and, and you know, uh, putting, you know, putting yourself out there even though you weren't feeling well, so I hope you feel better, but, and, um, so it was cool, it was cool, uh, Busta gave me an idea. I have the Fez, and he says, I think I'm going to try a Fez lather, so see how this turns out. It's turning out pretty good. All right, I'm not really using the Fez, I have a bowl in there, but anyway. All right, let me gear up for this bad boy here. All right, ready. All right, so um, getting back to that. Well, that was crazy, crazy idea. But, um, anyway, so yeah, and then uh, I met David Munoz at the game and got to hang out. He's a good guy. Not many people you'll find that are more enthusiastic about this hobby than Dave Munoz, man. Thank you, man. It's great to meet you. Um, but again, yeah, Dave, David stuck it out. You know, he wasn't feeling that good. But again, hope you feel better, Dave. And uh, I mean, it started out as, as cool. I mean, we, Maria and I stayed the first night over by uh, by the airport and we were able to we went to pick up Peter at his hotel Saturday morning and finally got to meet you Peter it was a it was a blast thank you it was great to meet you hang out um by the way people Peter's got a lot of good things coming down the pike with this new stories he's gonna put up um we got to check out some samples some scents some test scents and stuff and 
I think it's gonna be really, really good. So keep an eye out for Peter's for Peter's shop online. And uh I don't think anybody's gonna be disappointed. This stuff smells really good. But uh, you know, besides seeing some of the people that I had seen last time and people that I've, you know, gotten gotten kind of to know in the hobby, um, you know, I got to put more faces with names and and uh and really hang out, you know, and get to know people. Especially afterwards we hang out at at the doghouse right across is right across the street from the shop, I had no idea. I got a parking ticket by the way, Pasadena. Bastards. Who runs parking meters at 10 o'clock at night? Anyway. Um, but yeah, David, Douglas, Damon, of course, for spearheading it. I got some names written down here. I'll try and uh, do it as I go. Um, um, Peter, of course, got to finally meet him. Busta. I actually got to hang out and talk with Busta more than I ever have. More than I did at the last meeting. And and there, that's a knowledgeable, smart guy right there. He's a smart, smart guy. Um, but along with other people that helped make it better, obviously, Rocio. Rocio, uh, heart of gold. Heart of gold on that girl. And if anybody outside of my family shows that they love Michael, it's that. It's Rocio. It's Rocio. She... She treats him like a little angel. So thank you for that, Rocio. Really, really appreciate it. Very welcoming to us. But uh, Dave Munoz, of course, like I said, it was a blast meeting you, bro. Look forward to seeing you again. Dave Munoz and Jim Judy, man. If there was, if Brute ever needs a distributor, an unofficial distributor. You guys are them, man. These guys are walking around. I think they hoarded every bottle of Brut Lotion in all of SoCal, and they're just walking around giving it out. Like I said, my shave of the day picture, I think Brut became an unofficial sponsor. And, uh, Zach, got to talk to Zach a little bit, actually a lot, for the first time, Zach, real cool, down to earth. After the event of the doghouse, I was hanging out with Zach and, and, uh, and Josh, Josh King and Busta, and, uh, that was cool. Josh, nice to meet you too, cool hanging out. Um... Well, it's Christian, Christian, I did, Christian Levesque. I didn't get to talk to you very much, but it's always a pleasure seeing you, my friend. Leonard Ibarra, took me a second to recognize you without the handlebar mustache, bud. But it was great to talk to you. We talked guns a little bit, and we talked, obviously we talked shaving, hung out afterwards. We're in the shop talking guns and stuff, so that was cool. Saw Josh Remoke again, hung out at the bar. Hung out at the bar inside the function, I mean. Let me rinse just a sec, please. So. Brent Jacobson. I remember I had met you at the last function, but I didn't catch your name. This time I did. It was good to talk to you, buddy. Your daughter, beautiful little girl. I think she's going to make you really proud. She's already wanting to, uh, to take up straight shaving. And I forgot how old you said she was. I think you said she was 13. She went to shave at in the raffle. Took the last one. I actually got my number called finally, but there was like two items left on the table. Even Maria won something before I did. So that was cool. Um, 
Dave Mendoza, always good to see you, man. Got to get back to your shop and pick up a few things. Mondo, Mondo Cardenas, another local buddy, lives up in maybe a half hour from me. We're talking about put about a. We're talking with Douglas about an event possibly coming up. I don't want to let the cat out of the bag, but so that's all I'm gonna say. Mondo Cardenas and Mike Schultz. Mike Schultz lives like. I could walk to his house in five minutes, and the only time I see him is in Pasadena. Sorry about that. Um, Mike Flights. Mike Flights. That was a killer. Mike Flights has the, the Fez. I have like a homemade Fez. It says GL for a Grand Lodge, and then he had a... Um, a straight razor with a couple drops of blood, kind of, that he added onto it. It's pretty clever. But it was fun. It was fun. Those are people I wanted to, to mention specifically. And everybody else, I'm sorry. I, like I said, I'm, I made more of an effort this time to catch names, but I'm sure I left somebody out. But I had a blast. As always, it's great to see everybody in person. It was great to see and to be seen, of course, because, again, I had the honor of... I had the honor of, of you know, being recognized and, and um, you know, people mentioning my videos. I know my, my videos aren't... There's nothing spectacular about them. It's just, you know, I shave and I talk and I make... I might throw a rant every now and then, but just the, to be recognized and, and to have even one person say that they enjoy them is, is really, really humbling and it's really an honor. So, so again, that's, again, it's shaving is what gets us together is the people that keep you in the community. And I really, really appreciate everybody, what everybody did. So let me rinse off. This thing's going to get out of the way. Oh, and I don't know if you can see it. The shirt today is Lagunitas Brewing. We were at the uh, the dog house, and they had a, the liter, the one liter of mugs, and uh, I had one of uh, some Lagunitas. So just thought I'd throw them a bone. But it was fun. I mean, like I said, had a blast. Um, Douglas had a raffle that he gave out tickets with a soap. And uh, like I said, Maria won before I did. Kept missing my number by like one digit. I had 084 and then he called 085 and then he called 083, 082, 081. By the time he did call my number, I had a, I think an Allen block and some stick that kind of pencils are all he had left. Maria got one of the big Crown King synthetic brushes. She said she's going to give it to her brother. He's supposed to get into it, but I might have to test it out first. And Damon wanted to put... Damon wanted people to take pictures with the fezes and, and then post them to the SoCal Collective Facebook page, and I think he was going to give out some prizes or something. But if you didn't see my picture of Michael, I mean, I of course I'm biased, but that was probably my favorite picture. But everybody, everybody looked good. Really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. All right, but I said kind of pretty much what I want to say. I want to say hi to everybody. I wanted to say uh, give shout outs to the people I met and I got to hang out with and talk with. Um, I'm going to finish up off camera. And then, of course, I got to follow it up with 
with uh, with the brute. Um, this stuff was was flying was flying out like hotcakes. Uh, Jim Judy and, and Dave Munoz had bags full of them, and and they were they were generous enough to just give, go around and give them out to anybody who was interested. Um, so thank you, um, just not just to them, but again, David, Damon, Douglas uh, for putting it all together, and and bust up Peter. Um, it was a highlight to be able to hang out with you guys and everybody else as well. So I had a fantastic time. I look forward to April. So everybody start making your plans as soon as the date comes out. Um, make whatever plans you need to make because that is going to be fantastic event again. So um, thank you to everybody. Um, had a great time and I look forward to the next one. So be well. Peace.